Cinderella Penguin, or The Little Glass Flipper. Cinderella Penguin, or The Little Glass Flipper, retold and illustrated by Janet Perlman. There once was a young penguin named Cinderella who lived in a faraway land with her stepmother and two stepsisters. Cinderella was a kind and gentle penguin, but her stepsisters were selfish and vain. Cinderella did all the chores. She even had to pick up after her stepsisters while they never had to do a thing. The sisters wore the finest clothes and slept in large, cozy feather beds with silk sheets and fluffy pillows. Poor Cinderella wore nothing but worn-out tatters and slept in the cold stone cellar up on a small shelf beside some old tin plates. One day it was announced that the Penguin Prince was giving a costume ball. The stepsisters and their mother received an invitation. Cinderella wanted to go too, but they just laughed at her. The prince would never want to meet a shabby cinder block like you. For weeks the house was filled with talk of the ball. The sisters had costumes made from the finest fabrics. They ate only the tiniest meals so they would have the tiniest waists, and they were always in front of the mirror posing and practicing their curtsies. Finally, the night of the ball arrived. Cinderella rushed about, ironing her stepsisters' costumes and helping them dress. Then, without a thank you or goodbye, the carriage swept the stepmother and stepsisters off to the ball. Cinderella burst into tears. She felt so alone and unhappy. Suddenly, in a glow of blue light, the great fairy penguin appeared before her. Why are you crying, Cinderella? Do you want to go to the ball? she asked. Cinderella blinked back her tears. Oh, yes, more than anything. Then you shall. First, said the fairy penguin, you must fetch me a pumpkin from the garden. Cinderella didn't know how a pumpkin could help her get to the ball but she quickly brought her the best one she could find. The fairy gave it a firm tap with her wand, and it magically turned into a beautiful golden carriage. Then the great fairy penguin went into the kitchen and found six mice carrying a huge chunk of cheese. With a tap of her wand, they turned into a handsome team of six horses. She turned the cheese into a fat coachman in uniform. They all marched out the door and took their places as if it were the most natural thing to do. Now you can go to the ball. Are you happy, Cinderella? asked the fairy. Oh, yes, said Cinderella. But then she looked sadly down at her ragged clothes. Oh, I almost forgot, said the fairy. And with a tap of her wand, Cinderella Penguin's rags became a beautiful gown with gold trimming and a real gold tiara. On her feet were a pair of glass flippers, the prettiest and most delicate that Cinderella had ever seen. Now, one last thing, said the great fairy penguin. The magic spell ends at the stroke of midnight. The carriage will turn back into a pumpkin, the horses back into mice, the coachman into cheese, and you'll again be dressed in rags. So you must leave the ball before midnight. Cinderella promised to remember. Then, waving goodbye, she stepped into the carriage and rode off, her heart filled with joy. When Cinderella arrived at the palace, the ball was in full swing. She was welcomed with a fanfare of trumpets, and she marveled to see so many fine penguins wearing such magnificent costumes. Her stepmother and stepsisters didn't notice her. They were too busy gobbling down snacks and party sandwiches at the buffet tables. But the penguin prince noticed Cinderella at once. Who is she? he asked his courtiers. She is the most beautiful penguin I have ever seen. Cinderella had never met as handsome and charming a penguin as the prince. From their first dance together, he never left her side. 
They whirled and twirled around the dance floor to the applause of the admiring crowd. Who is the beautiful young penguin who has captured the prince's attention so completely? Everyone whispered. What a handsome couple! How well they dance together, they sighed. Cinderella had never been so happy. She wished the night could last forever. Then, suddenly, she glanced up at the clock. In all the excitement, she had completely forgotten the fairy's warning. Oh, she cried, it's almost midnight, I have to go. And she ran from the palace in such a hurry that one of her glass flippers fell off and was left lying on the steps. As Cinderella rode away in her carriage, the prince called out, Oh, please don't go. But she was gone. He picked up the glass flipper and said sadly, Who was she? I don't even know her name. The next day it was announced that the prince would marry the penguin whose foot fit the little glass flipper. There was great excitement throughout the land. First all the princesses tried it on, and then all the penguins of the court, but the flipper was always too small. The royal footmen were commanded to take the flipper from house to house. The stepsisters spent the whole day perfuming and powdering their feet. Cinderella, said the stepmother, your clothes are too ragged to be seen by the royal footmen. Go downstairs and polish the silver until they leave. Oh, please, I would like to try on the flipper too, said Cinderella, knowing it would fit her perfectly. The stepsisters laughed, but then they looked down at Cinderella's webbed feet. For the first time they noticed how delicate they were. A knock came at the front door. Quick, hide her, said the stepsisters. They grabbed Cinderella, threw her down the cellar steps, and slammed the door. Poor Cinderella. She lay upside down with her foot caught tight in the door, unable to get free. When the footmen came in, the stepsisters pushed and shoved to be the first to try on the flipper. They were so intent on snatching the flipper from each other that it slipped from their grasp, flipped high in the air, and landed squarely on Cinderella's foot. Everyone stared. It was a perfect fit. As the footman opened the door and helped Cinderella up, the great fairy penguin appeared. With a tap of her magic wand, she transformed Cinderella's tattered rags into the magnificent clothes she had worn to the ball. Cinderella was overjoyed. Oh, thank you, fairy penguin. I thank you with all my heart. The stepmothers and stepsisters' beaks dropped wide open. They stared at Cinderella, spluttering with amazement. Look, oh my, it's her, oh no. Oh dear, we've really put our foot in it. The penguin prince and Cinderella penguin were married the very next day and the wedding bells rang throughout the land. Never before could anyone remember such a joyous and happy wedding. Cinderella and the prince truly loved each other, and they lived happily together ever after. The End mm -hmm.